we'll guide you through how to download and install the Feather Client for Minecraft. If you find this useful, then consider subscribing and liking the video. The Feather Client has got loads of useful features which we can go and start using. So to go and get started, let's close out of Minecraft. And what you need to do is go and open up a web browser of your choice. I'll use Chrome, but it doesn't matter. Now, what we can do is go and type in Feather Client Minecraft, like so, and go and search for it. The website is feathermc.com. Now, what we can do to go and get it is we'll go and see the option for download for, and we can go and press there. It's going to go and download, and you can go and see the progress in the top right of your browser if you're using Chrome. Otherwise, you can just wait for it to go and finish, and what you can do is install it. Before we start the install process, a big thank you to Apex Hosting for sponsoring this video. If you're in need of a Minecraft server, make sure you go and check out the link in the description or the pinned comment. At the moment, you can get 25% off the first invoice. They're definitely worth checking out. If we scroll down, we can start checking out some of their great features, like one-click install mod packs, DDoS protection, 24-7 servers and support, ultra latency, and many other great features as well. Now let's go and install Feather Client. So what we can do is go and open up the downloads folder, and you want to come to downloads and go and find the Feather Client setup. Double-click it, and then what we can do is we can go and start the process. You get a Windows security pop-up you need to agree to, and it then automatically start installing, as you can see. Then when it finishes, it will go and disappear and it's going to go and open up. What we need to do is go and log in to use the Feather Client. So you do need to own Minecraft to do this. So go to the top right where it says guest user and click there and you can go and select Microsoft account. And then what we can do is go and sign in to our account now. I've signed in as you can see and we're now using my account. Now what we can do is we can go and choose the version at the top here. If we come to the top though, we can come to the mod section and you can go and add in your own mods or go and browse mods here. You can get to the skins and you can easily start switching them. You can go and check out servers. If we go to the top right, you can press on the gear or cog icon to get to the settings. And here we can change those different things. For example, the allocated RAM if you want Minecraft to have more. And there are other things you can go through here if you need to. Otherwise, on the play, we can go and choose the version and press launch. Now what's going to happen is it's going to go and appear. I've had this pop up on my other monitor, but it's going to go and download and then it will automatically load. The game has now loaded. So what we can do is go into single player and access our worlds. Of course, you've got multiplayer and we could start joining servers. Then we've got partnered servers, which we can go and join here. And we've also got cosmetics. So in here, we can go and do these different things. You can click through and go and see them. Of course, you can go and get these by coming to the store and we can get different things here. At the bottom, you can quit the game, but in the top right, you can see your account. We can see Feather Mods, Social, Screenshots, MC Settings, Minecraft Realms, and Resource Packs as well. So lots of different things there. And once we, once we come into a world as well, we're also gonna have a bit of a menu I'll guide you through. So if I go and pause the game by pressing Escape, you've actually got your FPS in the top left, which is really useful as well. If I pause the game, we can go and see different options here as well, similar to the home menu. So that's it. If you found this useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video.